For Virgie Townsend, the issue of bullying jumping from personal. So I dealt with bullying when I was growing up in Ohio. I, I was at the point where I would hide out in the school bathrooms. To a shared experience with two of her kids. She had some girls who were bullying her quite badly. And so she actually left Wake County schools and I put her in a private school. A 2019 report from the National Center for Educational Statistics found one in five students reported being bullied with actions ranging from insults to exclusion from activities to even physical violence. Tuesday, Wake County Public Schools taking measures to enhance its policy broadening the definition of bullying, including level of engagement or isolation as a differentiating characteristic, while also clarifying that a student's discomfort around classroom topics, discussion, or management itself is not a violation. Wake County mom Holly Atkins, who runs the nonprofit Hope for Teens, still thinks the language is too broad. The way you handle physical bullying as it relates to size is very different than how you handle bullying for a sexual orientation perspective, and being able to to understand the differences and how you handle those is going to be something they need to do going forward. Atkins also believes that districts should take a more proactive approach in addressing bullying, including for off-campus incidents. School Board Vice Chair Chris Haggerty signaling his support for further exploring ways to address these cases. We can show that off-campus behavior that has a real and measurable impact to the health and safety of students on campus or is directly related to school function or school activity mm -hmm. is something that we can take some action toward.